未见一博士不来 ，Prime Minister 啊，什么八股？This is the Singlish channel. Hey, hello, friend. Can you kindly press the subscribe button and also the like button? Thank you, thank you very much. I am happy watching. We like to thank Sigmai Senju for their compliments. His Majesty is well aware of the country's problems and has, in fact, put forward a solution. What happened next will very much depend on the efforts of our new Prime Minister, Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim. Okay, okay, okay. The journey、uh, for Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim、uh, to become the tenth Prime Minister of Malaysia is one that is full of thrills and risks. <laughs> I, okay, when he was once again having a near brush with the prime minister, suppose ah,、uh, Ahmad Zahid ah、uh, was there giving him a hand, putting him back on the race track, right?、Uh, despite the mounting pressure on the Amno presidents against doing so. Okay, okay, okay. Eventually, it was the far-sightedness of. His Majesty Yang Bituang Agong that paved the way for the new Prime Minister. On the second day after election, Muhyiddin Yassin was flush with confidence as he prepared to ascend to the Prime Ministership once again with the statutory declaration signed by 115 incoming MPs. In his hand, leh, aya. Okay, okay, okay. Of the 115 statutory declaration, ah, ten were from pro Hisham BN representative. That also explains why Hisham Shurin, Hisham Shurin shouldn't wait to proclaim the support for BN led government. I won't change my decision even if I get sacked. He vowed. After Ahmad Zahid discovered this, he pressured these MPs to retract their statutory declaration in support of Mahathir. Without the nod from the、uh, chairman, the legitimacy of such statutory declaration becomes questionable. Okay, okay, okay. Zahid masterminded the Shiri Pacific meeting between BN representative and Anwar, giving both sides a historical opportunity to meet and talk. This has effectively softened their animosity towards the Iswar rival. The king also made his attitude very clear that he wanted PM to join a unity government. Mahidin turned down the king's proposal of a unity government. This thus putting himself at a disadvantage with the royalty, while Anwar accepted the proposal. His Majesty proposed to set up a stable unity government that could reflect the country's pluralistic, ethnic, and religious fabric. This would unwind more inclusive lineup a notch above Mahathir in meeting the king's aspiration. The next morning, DAP's General Secretary Anthony Lok flew. Into Kuching to meet Sarawak Premier Abang Johari and offered his apology on behalf of his party for any statement previously made by any DAP leaders that could have offended the state government or the people of Sarawak. This was very soon followed by a public apology by Lim Guan Eng on Facebook. 
DSP's apology has now has not only removed the obstacle that stands in the way of PH and GPS, but also bridge the two sides, paving the way for GPS to join Anwar's unity government. Okay, 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 to put the country back on track of growth. A unity government has to be brought into being within the shortest time possible, which will help melt the ill feelings between parties and bring Malaysians from different ethnic and religion backgrounds together so that the new government can take the country forward to in full force, in full force, ha ha ha. Majula Malaysia, ha ha ha. To the end really there have you pressed the button yet subscribe lah okay thank you subscribe and also press the button like yeah very good thank you and then have a nice day